Hi guys, and welcome to Lana Be Lit and Learning again. So here I am at the King of Tailoring, Mr. Mark Powell. So hopefully I'm going to learn how to measure for a suit fitting. So come and learn with me. Good tram, good tram. Good tram, sorry, sorry. Good, good tram. Tram. Thank you. I've got a vagina, don't forget. I'm oh, sorry. Um, I love that uh, picture. The portrait, yeah, that was done maybe about four or five years ago. You can see there's quite a few pictures of me around. I'm quite a sort of insecure man. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so lead the yes, way. lead the way, please, Mark. <laughs> got more pictures here. More images. That's my first shop, actually, just there. The picture there oh. on the left. Oh, That's one of my original shop on Archer Street, oh. which I opened in 1985. Uh-huh. And that was, you know, wow. 36 years ago. 1980. I thought I'd known... known yeah, that's right, since the 80s, that's right. And there's more, you know, more pictures of various things. There's with Prince Michael of Kent. There was a big show that we did called the London Cup, which was done in Italy, mm -hmm. in Florence. Mm -hmm. And that's at the, and the Palazzo Pitti, where the exhibition was held. Oh, um, there's John Hanna and the John brilliant and Paul Weller Paul again. again. Chaz Mash Cole from, oh, yeah. uh, from uh, Madness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and oh, Bianca yeah. Jagger. Then. Bianca Jagger, yeah. Naomi Campbell. I was, oh, that's a... Oh, that right. was for American Vogue. And did, is that in a, like a purple mauve fabric? That actually, is. it's quite interesting. It's a, what the camera's read it. It actually was like a... Very uh, interesting blue with a royal blue stripe. And when the cam, this is from the nineties, so maybe you know the way a cam was, well, you know, picked it up. Yeah. But yeah, there's loads of stuff. Yeah. Another one of Christos there, looking yeah. cool. And Julian, Julian, Julian Claire, my neighbour, looking yeah. fantastic. Yeah, looks great. Is that a diamond uh, pinstripe? Well, actually, it? what's great about that? No, I tell you what. Can you, if we come in here quickly. It's actually this fabric, which is actually oh, yeah. a pinstripe, which is machine guns, hearts and bullets. Oh, yeah. Which is an archive piece that we did many, many years mm -hmm. ago. And that's what Julian was wearing. Wow. Not that actual one, yeah. but that Oh, you see, now, fabric. this is my favourite colour. Uh, unfortunately, it's too small for me, but the amethyst... Yeah, it is a lovely colour. We that just made, I tell you, we just done, I just did that suit mm -hmm. for Jessie Wallace, you know, Kat from oh, EastEnders. Yeah. yeah. She just had, we made her one for her birthday, which was, you know, she was very happy with, which was lovely. Oh, so she's quite small then. She's very petite, yeah, oh, very petite. A nice size. And yeah. um, should we have a cocktail? <laughs> well, we could, but so, unfortunately there's not much to, uh, to drink. We've got all the books here, which are great for reference. There's some uh -huh. great historic books. Men's fashion books and you know just old archives. I'm only in a detail. Marlene. I knew you'd pick up on that yes. really quickly. Yes. That was a um, outside the bar, by the corner. Of, of course, of course, of course. She lives. She lives. She lives in me. So our mark. Yeah. I'm here to learn something mm, yeah. from you. Yeah. Now, as you know, I do like my own deconstruction yeah. fashion, which yeah. I've always done, and which you've always acknowledged. Yeah, of course, of course. And um, what, do I, what can you teach me? Something important, something initial. Well, I think it's also, I mean, how to fit an outfit for someone. I mean, you know, for tailoring, it's very, very different. I think certainly, you know, how to fit an out outfit, how to learn. I can show you something okay. that's at the fitting stage. There we go. This is a oh, yeah. something, you know, this is how they look at the beginning, you know, half made when they try it on people without the lining in and everything else with the base stitching in. Mm -hmm. So obviously what happens is that's then fitted on someone. And then, uh, I mean, in fact, what we could do, I mean, look at this lovely thing. Yeah, the pearling, you know, that's an, an archive ladies thing. But what mm -hmm. we can do is maybe put this on a mannequin and I can show you... Uh, oh, OK. A little and bit get about... get me to do some measuring. Yeah, maybe. But you see, that, with my style, would be finished. Well, 
Well, actually, well, everyone I mean, for many years have always said, mm -hmm. if you get a very interesting fabric, it could actually, we have actually experimented with the look of a deconstructed suit or half stuck constructed suit, mm -hmm. which actually is very interesting. Inside, you could make these like works of art with all the stitching if you wanted. Mm -hmm. You could actually, and then make that a look. Yeah. As a finished garment. You know, I mean, yeah. I think that could be the way forward for you, maybe a little bit of a... Yes, because that, 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 that is the final garment for yeah, me. Yeah, that's right. Well, it was the, the skeleton. Part. Well, maybe that's the next step. Well, there you go. So, so maybe, you know, we could uh, teach you how to do this, and then you can... Uh, run away with Run it. away with this. <laughs> <laughs> so when you start uh, measuring a jacket, it's often quite easy for the starting process to do it on someone with the jacket on so we could start with myself right so the first measurement i would say measure across my back from shoulder blade there to the point of the shoulder right across to the other side so, so that there. gives you your back measurement uh-huh across that's called an across back measurement right and so, across back measurement right so from there to there you can then get your shoulder which is basically the width of the shoulder yeah so you're going to measure from there Right the way across, so they're using the jacket to the tip of the crown do of the it, sleeve. Do it, do it one yeah, side. that's right. Yeah, just do one side, then that gives you a shoulder. You only have to do one. No, no, right. you know, no one's got one shoulder. Well, if they have, you'd have to work so, it out. But obviously, most people have the same shoulder size, so then you're doing across the width. That's your width for your shoulder right. on the jacket. So that's six inches. Yeah, that's right. So most jackets, it's very comfortable. five and a half inches. Inch. Then the exciting measurements are still to come. You're going to do my waist and my inside leg, which oh, is the okay. big one. Well, I, I hope I don't lose my hand. Yeah. Just, you just go above the top of the so waistband. I mean, this is a very high rise, so yes. that is quite hot. Um, I bet we're looking at 40, 41 now on this, aren't we? So now we're going to do the inside leg measurement. Okay. So All now right. this one is the one that you've got to go down on your knees probably. Oh, right. Well, I've can had you... my knees replaced, so can I use a chair? Could you use a chair? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So what you do with this is start there. Right. And, and then go to the bottom like that. Okay. And we're talking about 29. 28 yes, and all. 29. There you go. That's right. Oh, inside leg. So that's it. And then you get your rise mm -hmm. from the outside. So basically, this is a very high rise. So this is going to be like a 12 or 13 inch rise, which is the fit between there and there. And that gives you your rise. Right. So then you do the outside of the leg. Right. To the bottom. Do you, do you ask your clients to hold the... Well, I, I normally would just... I'd go down, you know, like that. Well, I... I Yes. Yeah, you alright? So that is 41. There you go. So look, you've got... 41, 41 and a half. So you've got a 12 and a half inch rise. Basically, right. most, tra most high rise trousers are 12 to 13. If you go into the sort of territory of modern or classic trousers nowadays, they're normally 10 and a half, 11 inch rise. And as people get slimmer, mm -hmm. the rise is generally less. Right. Just simply because there's not as much well, there. Well, not as on much the belly. Yeah, exactly. There's it's all it. the things that make sense. Mm. Um, you could do my chest measurement. Okay, let's see. But I'd have to take my jacket off and okay. have, I've got a nice pair of uh, braces on, so okay. it's not going to humiliate you too much, you know. Yes, you've got the Moai. Is it called Moai? Moai, that's right. Moai, you must remember that in the 80s. I did. It was you must big. have had a few things in that. I did, yeah. Bed spreads, curls. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so you wrap, go round the back of the chest, like so, that. Like this. And then you go just above, the that's nipples. it. Or if you want the nipple, or above the middle of the chest. And that so gives am you... I in the right place? Yeah, that's so. perfect. And that gives you a chest. So is that just over... Th 30 40, 46. 46. That's what that 46. Is. Yeah, that's normal, because I'm about 45, 46. That's right. fine. That's it. So they're basically some basic measurement that's tips. Well, uh, I mean, now I've learned thing. how to measure for a suit. A lot of stuff there. A lot of tartan... Well, Designs, you know, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Well, you forget that they there were so many clans. Clans, yeah. You know, and I suppose with this, they've literally got covered most of the main clans, really. Mm -hmm. There's a hell of a lot here. I mean, the other thing people forget, even things like the uh, classic um, Prince of Wales is a clan. So, look, that is that was originally taken. That you know, People forget that was originally 
And there's a dog tooth as well. There's another one on here, which I've actually done quite a lot in. Dog tooth, from, did you Yeah, say? there's one. It was an actual plain dog tooth. But of course, when you're trying to find it, it's always a struggle, isn't it? Mm. You might find one for you in a second. It will be here. Somewhere. And there's modern tartans. These are some of these are modern. Yeah, but then saying that, that's when they say ancient, that is really old. They're like the really old ones, ancient Macbeth and Mm. all that stuff. But there's all the other fabrics as well. I mean, you you mean that's just that's all the linings basically. Oh, that's the sort of stuff that you might really get excited by. You see, for me, this would be on the outside. Well, you could, but the linings, aren't they? So, yeah. yeah. Or peacock, that's the That's very you, yeah, the peacock, the isn't peacock. it? When I heard the cry of the peacock. That's from a musical called Valmouth, written by Sandy Powell, who wrote The Boyfriend, starring Cleo Lane and uh, Bertie's Redding. Oh, that's, look at that, it's beautiful. I've actually used a couple of these. That one's very nice, it's the orangey one, and that one is lovely. Lovely. Oh, I love those. So these are all your lining. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then there's obviously things that we shouldn't forget are things like velvets. You know, mm-hmm. there's some uh, very nice velvets here. You've got all the red. The orange is lovely. The burnt orange, I think, is very nice. Mm. So what's your favourite fabric to work in? Flannel I like. I like a good flannel, big, especially coming into the autumn, winter. Mm-hmm. Uh, a good flannel with a, you know, like a stripe or a check. In fact, this is a very nice flannel here. This is a heavier weight one. Uh-huh. But this is a lovely flannel. It's quite, oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm just, if you look, turn the camera around and look up there, the guy at the top next to me with the body shot is wearing that suit. See, with the beige hat on. He's got oh, that yeah. fabric on. It looks fabulous made up. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah. It's gone for a very sort of vintage, sort of 30s, 40s type look. Uh-huh. But it looks great. So, Mark, it's been a delight. Thank you oh, ever so much for your great. time and your help and your tutorial. Great. And I'd like to leave you with a little present okay. in my very favourite colour, which, of course, are all the... Ameth- from the amethyst spectrums of purple so I shall leave you with this okay there you are and Thank I shall expect a suit crinoline or something made no out problem of it no problem at all be an absolute pleasure see you later see Mark you later. it's Take fabulous care. to see you nice and um, I'll see you next week okay all okay, made it I'll you. leave it with yeah. you bye, bye. bye. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to comment positively. Thank you.